Leos. Subscribe. What up, players? We'll bust to up in this mud. I got the five-man scout squad that comes in the Space Marine Battle Force. So I'm gonna do a little review and assembly video and just let you know what my thoughts are and see what the uh, community thinks. So here are the legs and oh, I should probably turn on this side. You got five great looking detailed, I mean I've, I've seen videos of people using these legs on Imperial Guard Stormtroopers as Imperial Guard Stormtrooper legs and although I think it would be kind of expensive just to get these as well as the um, you know what else, whatever else you're gonna need to use to make the IG Stormtroopers I think it's it, it'll look really cool we've got some kit some grenades and oh these are really cool some rope and some grenades some pat pouches it's gonna be so much fun to to build up and paint here we've got the heavy bolter the left hand for it and the little bipod and a little backpack and these are the six you get six heads with it even though you only use five I don't know if I'm gonna use this Robocop one it just looks ridiculous to me <clears throat> Jordy LaForge. Okay, so my idea is I was looking at the codex and first I was like, oh man, I love scouts with the, the models with the sniper rifles. They look so cool. And just have them camp on an objective or in the back or whatever. But then I thought, you know, um, with the Blood Angels, just a special rule, the Red Thirst. I mean, if you have them kitted out with bolt pistols and the combat blades that they get, which counts as a close combat weapon, then you could do some damage. Especially if you give the sergeant one of the close combat options. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what what he can get, but I mean if I think I think Power Fist is one of them, but he's also got some other let's uh, Let me take a look at my book right now. What can you equip a Space Marine Scout Sergeant with? A combi melta, flamer, or a plasma, or a plasma pistol, or a power weapon, or a power fist. Yeah, a power weapon or a power fist. I mean, you could do some good damage with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build up my guys with these bolt pistols and close combat weapons, and I'll show them to you when I get back. Plus, the f fact that they can outflank if they get the red thirst and I think, I can't remember what was the name of the special character that comes with some really good special rules. I don't think it was Lemartis. Lemartis, I think it was, um, because that's a Death Company guy, right? Hmm, I'm just rambling, but this is almost turning into a tactics video just because, based on what I want to equip my guys with. Oh look, an extra bolt pistol for my assault squads. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build these guys up, we'll show you what they look like when I get back. Alright, so I built up my guys, so let's take a look at them one by one. First of all, I'm going to show you the sergeant. Ooh, there's my little ghetto mount. I decided to kit him out with a power fist. And when I did that, because the power fist comes from the regular Space Marine sprue, it looked weird without having a shoulder pad. And then, when I put on a bolt pistol, it looked weird without having another shoulder pad, so so the power fist and the bolt pistol are from the regular a regular size space marine. The problem is that with the rest of the body being a scout it's a lot smaller so it makes him look a lot more hunched over. Here's his close combat weapon on his back. I used every single bit of kit so you're gonna see a lot of grenades, pouches, all over all of these models. And here's there's him. All right, scout number two. Here he is with the close combat blade, pouches and grenades, a bolt pistol with a scope on it. Sorry, get you away from my paints. 
some more pouches on his back. I love how they have empty holsters. All the scouts have holsters and they're all empty. Which makes me wonder, where are their bolt pistols if you equip them with shotguns? I don't know. Because the holsters are already modeled onto the legs, so they're modeled to be empty. Here's some grenades, pouches, some rope. I modeled this guy to look like he's going up against something big and monstrous looking down at him like this. I drilled out the barrels of all of my bolt pistols as well. Here's scout number four. This kit on his belt. Yeah, I, I, I only used the scout frame for this because I'm not sure or for, for all of them except for the sergeant because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use them. I'm going to have to actually play test and figure out whether or not they're effective or not and this guy is yelling come on come on do it I'm right here I'm right here what are you waiting for come on he's got so much pouches and grenades and kit all over his body he is ready to go camping but not on an objective because these are assaulty scouts Blah, come on, do it! Do it now! So, yeah, I'm really happy with these guys. I'm going to paint them up just like the rest of my Blood Angels with the... with that very weathered, battle-hardened look. Chipped armor and with the paint chipped off and I'm gonna see how beaten up I can get them because they have so much kit because they're always out on patrol or infiltrating and outflanking the enemy behind enemy lines and stuff so I'm gonna see how how grizzled I can make these guys but really happy with the way they turned out and this will be all for now because it takes me a long time to paint these guys so I'll see you guys hopefully at the end of the week with the finished product of these five Space Marine Blood Angel Scouts. Latest players!